This strategy is ranked number one in my catalog. Since 2019, 2020, and only lost its ranking in 2021. This is the Heavenly Storm strategy. It's currently sitting in my third position, but still a very powerful system. I still go back to it, get proper signals from it. This system is surprisingly only $20 for such a high ranking system, but now you can get it for free if you just watch this video. Welcome to another week with Montevino Valentine and this week we are doing a dual episode or two episodes in one for the reason that we want to get out BCV as well as Heavenly Storm to your hands so that you can use the profitable systems that um, we have been reviewing and also going over during this time being quiet as Pride FX. Now, if you are still new around here, welcome to Pride FX. Um, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you do receive future videos when we do post on this Pride FX channel. Now, if you are impressed by the video, please give it a thumbs up so that the YouTube algorithm would like this and send it out to much other viewers that are also looking for the experience you are getting from Pride FX. Okay, so. What are we reviewing today? We are reviewing Heavenly Storm. If you have not watched the BCV uh, by Vitato strategy, please click on the link in the right hand corner so that you can also watch that video or you can watch it um, after watching the Heavenly Storm strategy. Okay, just depends on when you want to watch the, the, the first episode as well as the second episode of this dual Thursday. Okay, so let's speak about the Heavenly Storm. It does cost you about $20. Um, now it's free because we are giving it to every person of the Pride FX community. If you are not part of the community, please go on to our Telegram link. It's in the link. The link is in the description down below. So you can just click on that link and it will direct you to our Telegram group so that you can be part of the community. They normally do give out analysis, um, signals, as well as some strategies that you can use and it is free. Now, if you cannot afford $20, now you have the system for free at your hands. And I'm going to do a little bit of what we normally do. And that's a review on my very own system from myself, Montevino Valentine. Okay, so the first thing we do is give you the settings of the strategy. Then we're going to move on to the advantages as well as the disadvantages of using the system. And then from there, we're going to give it a rating out of 10. Okay. I personally will give it a rating out of 10 so that you do know how effective this system is. But before we begin with that, let me just say that this was my top one strategy for 2021, 2020, as well as 2019. This is the strategy that gave me the profits I wanted in the market. And I'll explain to you the philosophy around it when we get into the analysis side of using this strategy. Okay, so the first thing is let's move on into the testing so that you do know what to put on your chart. Okay, so all the settings will be given to you now. So what we're going to do first is my chart is clean. You will have two different options and I will show you the second option in a minute because I need to use that option. The reason why I'm using the first option is so that you can see a clear progress of what is happening when I'm adding the settings to my chart. So what you want to go to is insert, right? And then from insert, you want to go to indicators. When you're in indicators, you want to go to oscillators and from oscillators, we just want to get to the RSI and on computer, it will say relative strength index or on your mobile device. Just depends on how much lettering can be fitted onto your screen. So relative strength index and we click okay and this will pop up now before we get to the levels we need to put parameters into the strategy so the first thing is that the period is one and you want to apply this to close or the application of this is close okay and then the style 
or the color will be the background color of your chart. If your background is white, please make it white. If your black background is like mine black, please make it black, okay? And then the style of it doesn't really matter. You can even make it small because we don't want it to be visible on our chart when we are applying this, okay? Now, once you have the parameters down, we need to move on to levels and the levels will give us a better indication of what to look for when we are trading. Okay, so the levels are level 90, level 50, as well as level 10. So please add that to your chart. So if you don't have that on your computer or on your mobile device, on, on computer it will be add, on your mobile device it will have a plus sign on the right hand corner so you can add these levels to your chart, okay? Just to give you a little description about it, um, we said that 90 will be a sell and 50 would act as a resistance or a support depending where price is coming from. And then level 10 would be our buy area so that you can also um, look for buy setups when you're using this chart, okay? So don't worry a lot about the style over here because the style doesn't really matter as well as whatever has been added on today. So let's make it a solid line so that you guys can see exactly what is going on. And so let's just click OK and this will pop up on your screen. So now once you have this down, we cannot use um, option one because option one would put the other indicators on our main chart. We want it to be in our second chart. So what you can do is go to view and add the window for it, right? So the navigation bar. So I'm going to use control N so that my navigation bar could be here and so that I can look for the moving average I'm, I'm looking for, okay? So the moving average I'm actually looking for is over here. It's in the trend by the indicators, okay? So go there and then drag the moving average over to your RSI or your relative strength index window, okay? And once that is there, the first option for this is period 50, okay? The method is exponential and you apply to close. Why are we making this exponential? So that there is no lag or delay on the system, okay? We don't want late results we want results immediately, okay? So late results will affect us in the long run when we're using the system, okay? So now we click OK, and then um, the moving average will appear on our RSI, but we are not done yet. So what you need to do is go back over to the moving average, drag it across onto your RSI again, and so now we want to use moving average 5, okay? When you have moving average 5 on your chart, you want to go to method and apply simple, okay? Simple method. And you apply to close. Don't forget that your shift will stay zero, okay? And so now what we want to do is pick a color of your choice for the period 5. So for this example, I'm just going to use yellow. And when I'm done, I'm just going to click OK. And this should appear on my chart. Now the final settings for this um, is moving average two. So we're just going to do this, click two, and then we choose our color. I'm going to make it blue, and then this will appear on our chart. Now you must be asking yourself, why is 50 exponential and why is moving average five and moving average two um, simple, okay? So why we added this to simple is because we want the delay on the smaller, um, moving averages so that it doesn't move fast and we miss important information that never happened, okay? Remember, the, the, the smaller you go or the faster you go with the EMAs, the problem is that they might get faster to the resistance area or the support area or the sell or the buy area and it might just kill you when you're entering because we want the delay of that to continue going on so that our period 50 could catch up to it before we make drastic decisions on what we want the market to do. Okay, so what does the strategy work on? It works on currencies, indices, as well as volatility 
um, or your synthetic indices with derive.com. It's all up to you. So now what I'm going to do is remove that window because we are want, I want you guys to focus mainly on the strategy. Okay, I don't want you to see too much information because you might be distracted and lose some information that we are explaining to you on this video. Okay, so let's speak about the advantages. The advantages of the strategy is that you can use it on almost every single time frame. Okay, so it's just dependent on what your style of trading is. If you are a scalper, you can use it on the 15 minute chart, you can use it on the 30 minute chart, you can use it on the one hour chart, you can use it on the four hour chart. If you are a long term trader or a position holder, you can use it on the daily chart as well as the weekly chart. Okay, it all depends on what you want to use it on. Okay, for this reason, I'm going to use the 15 minute chart just to give you a clearer perspective on how to use the system. Okay, so now the, the second advantage of the system is that it does not only apply to mobile devices, it also applies to a computer. So if you're using Linux, or if you're using Windows, as well as Apple, you can apply this to your operating system of your computer especially if you are a Apple user or if you are an Android user, you can use it on different mobile devices. So that, that is the second advantage. The third advantage of this strategy is that it does um, show you what will happen next. Okay, so it gives you the highs and it gives you the lows. So that was the the philosophy around the strategy. We didn't want to build something and look for crossovers or look for this so that you can actually enter. What we are actually looking for is just the exhaustion of the market. So basically that's what we are looking for with the heavenly storm strategy. Okay, so the fourth advantage of the strategy is that you'll definitely know when to buy, when to sell, when to take profit and when to use the strategy um, perfectly. Okay. Now let's move on to the disadvantages. Every strategy that has advantages definitely has disadvantages. The first disadvantage that you will have with the system is that there will be market shifts. Okay. Market shifts is just um, where price will move from an area into a different area. And even though the system is telling you that price is exhausted on volatility itself, it will definitely continue shifting the zones that are not there. Okay, so be careful of the shifting of the zones. Make sure that you are using the system correctly as I'm going to explain to you so that you don't um, fall into that trap. Okay, then the, the second disadvantage you have it's not really a, a, a disadvantage, but it is an advantage to you, is that you're going to need a little bit of some other analysis from another strategy. And that comes with using moving averages, okay? If you are using moving averages, you're definitely going to have to rely on some type of price action, just to give you um, a clear indication of what to look for if you have entered or what not to do if you have not entered as yet, okay? It's just more confirmation on that. So the disadvantages and the advantages tells you exactly what you are getting yourself into. So now what we need to do is turn our disadvantages into our advantages. And the first thing I said is that the market does have shifts, okay? And so the, the, the second disadvantage is that Basically, you need to depend on another strategy. So we're going to get into those two so that you can use the system. So what I always recommend people do from the start of what I do is I normally zoom out to complete um, where I cannot see what the candlesticks are doing. How are they behaving? And I don't really want to know what are they, what are they currently doing. The only thing I want to see is where is the trend trend going and what is going to happen around the trend okay so always look for that where is the highest point and where is the lowest point we don't care about what is going on uh, during this time okay we just want to know where is the highest point and where is the lowest point 
So for instance, at this point, this was our lowest point and that was our highest point, okay? So now that we know that, we know there's a clear indication for the market to go to the upside, right? From the upside to the side, okay? So to show you um, in clear view what I'm talking about, we want price to go to our 90 level. And when it gets to our 90 level, what we want it to do is go back down to our 10 level, right? So we want it to buy from the 90 and sell to the 10, okay? So between those times, you cannot exit when you have entered. Okay. So, so that you can actually see what is going on. So from the 90, the lowest point, we are saying that price is exhausted, right? And when price gets to our resistance, we want price to continue to the upside. But like I said to you, the 50 level also plays a role as resistance in this market. Okay, so if it gets to this point, just note that price will have some big reversals and sometimes small reversals. Okay, so big, small reversals such as this playing around between the 50 and the 40 before it broke the 40 and went up to the 90. Okay, so it will always do that on this um, settings of the, the RSI window. Okay, so always look out for that. Um, when you are trading with the heavenly store and then when price goes down We're going to say our 50 is a support area and like I said to you We might have small reversals or we might have big reversals in this instance We had a very small resistance. So we are expecting price to continue back down to the 10 So when this happens, you should not be emotional about using the system Okay, if you see price is playing around it doesn't mean that the system is not working it's basically what the trend is going to do we don't have a market or if the market was as simple as price just moving up to that point and coming back down to this point then we all would have been millionaires by now but knowing that forex as well as the brokers they also need to make money somewhere. So obviously they're going to play around with your emotions so that you can exit in losses and sometimes in less profits so that they can make the money out of that. Okay, so be careful of um, entering and then exiting um, prematurely. Rather wait for it to touch the 10 and move down to the 90. Always the best way to trade with the system. Okay, so now that you know that, if we are coming from the 10, right, we need more entries. We need to speak to the chart and say we want more entries. And how you can do that is basically um, using price action. Like I said to you, we're going to use price action. So for us to use price action, we need to zoom in so we can see the candlesticks clearly, right? And so I'm going to make an example of where we came from. So. Or let's use um, our new analysis um, for the new month okay so how to use this is we want to look to the left of the chart we want to look at past history but past history will not play out the same as the future of the market okay they are always going to change what they want to do so don't expect price to do the same thing over and over. If you're expecting that place to be a resistance, it might break that resistance and then reverse into your favor. Okay. As long as you have um, heavenly storm on your side, you would know what is going on. Okay. So that you don't get emotional when you are using this system. Okay. So let's start with um, our market analysis. And what we're going to need is a lot of horizontal lines. So what we went, want to start on is where are the key, re, um, key reversals of this strategy? And so the key reversal for me, when I'm zooming out, I can actually see the bigger picture of this. So we had our high actually reverse from there. So this is a key reversal, okay? It's a key reversal. So we're marking this key reversal because price went up there and respected that area and then came back down to this level, okay? So another one of them is just below that. If you're looking at this 
high run or this bullish run for it to go up there and then reverse it tells us that price over there was actually um reversing and respecting that area okay so we plot that down so just like that okay then the next part for us is when when the bullish market or the bullish trend continued up there where the price reverse and go back up okay so this area over here becomes another area for us to look for support okay because that's where price found support to continue up so we're always plotting down what is going on in the market okay then we had another one over here key reversal and then price went up so all you need to do is basically look for the key reversal levels so that you know what is going on in the trend okay here we had another one over there so all we have to do is just plot them it doesn't matter how many you have or what is going on as long as you are plotting them you'll know exactly what is going on so here i can see more touches so let's include those touches with this one so that we know exactly when to enter and to get those snipe the sniper effect that we want on our chart so remember this is just for multiple entries when you are using heavenly stop here we had another reversal to the support side okay so now we're looking for all the support and resistance areas right um so here let's look for more um here we had another one so over there we had another one and then price came down here so this is a key reversal so we're just plotting the key reversals as we are seeing them or if you are seeing them on live analysis please do um, take them down as you are going to trade so that you know what is going on when price is moving okay here we had another one over there and then the last one before continuing to the bullish side we can say this one over here okay so we're done so we're done with live analysis so now what we need to do okay we need to start from the top so if you have missed that signal the next signal for you to appear on is on this one because the key reversal told us over there that price when price gets over here you can take that sell so if you have missed the highest one you can still take this trade over here right then we had this break our uh, support level and then this becomes our resistance area but then what happens after that price went up and came back down okay when it came back down to this area when price broke there it came to this place so you could have taken sell trades there you could have taken sell trades there and you could have taken sell trades there okay remember we are coming from the 90 and we want to end up by the 10 okay so if you missed that one you could have had trades there if you've missed that one you could have had trades there trades there and trades there okay then price breaks out don't worry about where is price going if price comes back to your resistance and you know that you are on a bearish market meaning that you are respecting the trend and you're continuing entering with the trend you're never going to go wrong the trend is always your friend in this market okay so we had that happen and over here we could not enter why could we have not entered because there is no valid um, resistance over there if you want to include that one it means that you will have to not include these ones over here okay but so obviously they're premature for me so i won't enter so then it comes down to this area of support and it reverses up to that side okay how do we know that this became a resistance area it was one support for this one this one this one and this one as well as that one okay so it was a valid support and when it was broken it became a resistance and a perfect retest happened over there so you could have taken a sell trade over there okay so you take your sell trade and you move down to this side when you get to this side what are you expected to do you cannot buy on a sell trend please focus on not taking buys on a sell trend if you are a risk taker then yes you can do that as you want but for this just focus on what i'm telling you so that you don't um get trapped into a market you don't want to be trapped in okay 
So then the market goes up to the upside. And if we had include this over here, then we could have seen the bigger picture of that as well being a resistance. So we could have taken that trade over there or you could have taken the trade over there. Then you have three positions in the same market. Okay. Then when price goes to the downside, we have that valid um, resistance over there. So we could have taken a sell trade there. And when price reversed, we could have exited with what I'm going to explain to you next. Okay. So now when you have entered into the market, you need to focus on your stop loss. Okay. We want to trail stops as much as possible. So if you are taking your entries, I want you to do something for me. Okay. Something very simple, but it will help you in the long run. So when you have plotted a resistance or a support level, all you need to do is basically highlight that zone and apply your stop loss above that area. Why am I saying above that area so that your stop loss can have some room? OK, if price does decide to go up more, even higher, then at least your stop loss is in place. But it's better to have your stop loss with some room so that if price does reverse before that point, you are still in the market and now you are in profit. OK, so you're going to highlight everywhere you have plotted. OK, so going down, you're just going to plot as you are going. So here is another one. So we highlight that zone and basically that's how it would look okay so our stop loss would be above the highlighted area that we have plotted as our resistance when that is occurred and price goes down you highlight when price goes down you highlight as you're going along you're going to highlight okay so if you had an entry here and our price is in this zone right your stop loss would still be valid to be there and why am i saying so because you need to count how um where these levels are so if you apply your stop loss here then when price moves in your favor one you need to count four times with the resistance okay so one two three four so this would still be valid right but now price is in a different zone so you're going to move your count okay so this is no more a valid step stop loss for you because you want to lock profits when you lock your profits you count again and it's one two three four so this becomes your valid stop loss or lock profit area if you have entered again at this zone then it means this is now your valid stop loss for that zone okay now, let's say you have taken that trade and this trade. So now what you need to do is secure those trades from going into losses. So what you do is this will become your valid area of a stop loss, right? So you're going to go back and highlight that area just like this. You're going to highlight that area just so that if whenever price gets to this point, you have to highlight. Even if the mark, especially if there's a lot of candlesticks around that area, you want to include them so that you know where was the last reversal before you plot your stop loss. And in this, in this instance, you need that as much as possible because you could have been prematurely exited from the market with this over here, this over here, and this over here. OK, so this told us that price might actually come back to that area. So always look at your highlighted zone as something of importance. OK, so when price gets there or price gets here, you are still in the market. OK, then price moves down to this area. Right. So what happens next? You need to continue your count so that you are still in the market. So. Now, this becomes an invalid stop loss. OK, so it's going to be one, two, three, four. OK, so now what you do is you highlight that area as I have done with the past three. And then you can see that the peak of that is over here. OK, that's the peak of the market. So let's zoom in more so I can show you actually what to do. So. That's the peak of the market. So be careful if you're placing your stop loss 
um, at the peak because the peak might be taken out again especially if you have taken your trade over here right so what you want to do is highlight the area and look for the peaks right this is a peak this is a peak this is a peak this one could have taken you out if you applied your stop loss just above so what you want to do is basically highlight that zone so when you go over here you go to shapes rectangle and then you highlight the peak this is the highest peak of that zone or area so you're going to highlight that peak and include it into your stop loss just like that okay just like that and you apply it below so now when you're looking for your stop loss it should be higher than this peak over here okay so now that your stop loss is above that peak just like that now you can continue looking for trades to the downside remember we are still in a sell trend so when you're going down you have your entries over there and so when you're applying your, your stop trail again now if you have entered here this becomes your this one that you have entered over here becomes invalid right because you have used that stop loss um, again so now you're looking for the next place where price is so if price is one two three four if it's in this zone right then this becomes your new stop loss okay and if price moves one two three four now it's in the zone so this becomes your new valid stop loss this resistance becomes your new valid stop loss right and if you've entered over here then one two three four this becomes your valid stop loss so if price is in this area this will become your valid stop loss so always count four out of the area so that you know where your stop loss is okay so that is it from the hurricane system it is a very simple system but one of the top rated systems in my um, analysis and using it for over three years so for you currently it is going to be the best because of what it gives you it gives you the highs it gives you the lows now let's give it a rating number one the system is profitable it's 75 percent correct okay remember we are including our disadvantages into this as well number two is that the system's advantage is that it does give you the highest points and the lowest points it gives you the best exits so that you can continue being profitable within the market okay so that's um, a plus one so a rating for me out of 10 i would give it a 7 out of 10 meaning the lack of the shift okay but still my number one or now currently in my number four strategy on my list okay so that's it from me monte vino valentine from pride fx and i hope you have a wonderful day if you haven't watched the bcp strategy That you can get um, a clearer a clearer mindset of that strategy have a wonderful day